Once again, we're going to prove an important theorem uh, for geometry called the triangle angle sum theorem. Very powerful theorem, something you maybe have known for a lot of years but don't know why it is. Uh, proving theorems in geometry is extremely important as the common core standard states. Uh, that it, it's just a very important thing that you know why things are happening and not just that they do happen. Uh, in my proofs, uh, I don't always show as much rigor just for time sakes as maybe your teacher requires, but I should be able to give you a good outline and idea about how to do the proof. So our triangle angle sum theorem, like I said, you've known for a while, and that is the sum of the angles of a triangle sum to 180 degrees. And so what, what this is really asking us to do is to look at these three angles and show that the measure of those three angles add to 180 degrees. Now in doing this proof, there's actually not a given statement to us. We just know that we have this triangle there um, and we need to do some things about that triangle. Now when you look at it for the first time, you might say, man, I don't even know where to start. There's some nice things. If you cut some, the corners off and put them together, you can show some stuff. But from a proof standpoint, it might be hard to start. That's why what you do is you have to draw in a line. And we're going to call that line L, and then we're going to call this line down here line M, assuming that line's right on that dark one. And so our first statement is going to be L is parallel to M, and we can do that. Our reason for this is not given. It's actually by construction. When you're doing these, it is actually by the definition of uh, parallel lines, which is between any one point and a line, you can draw a parallel line. We, know we, we knew we could construct line L parallel to the base of that triangle. Now, that's going to be really good because we have angles 4 and angle 5 can tell us something. And actually what they can tell us is that angle 4 is congruent to angle 1 and angle 5 is congruent to angle 3. And that's valuable because, uh, or that's the reason for that is because those are alternate interior angles. 1 and 4 and 3 and 5, you got parallel lines, the sides of that triangle are the transversals. So 1 and 4 are alternate interior angles, which we know a theorem about that, that they're congruent. 5 and 3, three the same thing. And that's valuable because now we've done a better job of connecting those to angle 2. And then with angle 2, 4, and 5, we can make this claim, that measure of angle 4 plus measure of angle 2 plus measure of angle 5 equals 180 degrees. And that's just by angle addition. If three angles at form a straight line, that means they sum to 180 degrees or four angles or whatever. And that's going to be valuable because now that includes angle 2 and some other things that add up to angle the 180 degree angle. So we can get finish this proof pretty easily by first showing that measure of angle 4 equals measure of angle 1 and measure of angle 5 equals measure of angle 3 by the um, definition of congruent angles. Remember, we always, when we do algebra like substitution we're going to get ready to do, we always have to use measures of angles. So I couldn't use those congruent theorems. So now I'm going to do a substitution. Um, instead of angle 4 into this, I'm going to write measure of angle 1. Measure of angle 2, I'm going to leave. Then I've got measure of angle 3 for measure of angle 5 equals 180. And that is just done by substitution. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove, that 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 180. And that is how you can go through and prove that the angles in a triangle all add up to 180 degrees.